ITEL Switch Plus, you can add four type of client. Reseller, Originating, Terminating and both types. Let's see how can we create a reseller. To create reseller, you have to select Manage Client under Client option and need to click on Add button. Here you can see Client Add page where at first you have to write any desired name considered as Client ID and then you have to provide password and confirm the password. When the reseller will log in for the first time, he or she have to change the given password. Here you have to select reseller as a client type. In balance option, you have to provide desired amount of balance. Because call won't be passed without balance. As you are creating this reseller under admin, parent account will be none here. You have to provide rate plan here. If you will leave it none, then the client under this reseller will be created but cannot make a call. You can see voice red plan by clicking on view red plan. If you want to provide mobile top up facilities, then you have to give a red plan. Otherwise, you can leave it none. Let's assume you are assigning a mobile top up red plan. If you will click on reset button, then all given value will be reset and if you will click submit then a reseller will be created. Now let me show you how to create another reseller with advanced option. Now you can provide a client ID, password and confirm that password as before. Select reseller as client type. Let's provide some balance. Parent account is none here. You have to provide a voice red plan too. Now click on advanced option. Here you have to select an existing red plan and if you want to increase its all destination rate by a certain percentage then you can put one in increased by option. You have to give a name for the new red plan where all rates will be increased by 1% value. You can put none in mobile top up option. In account information option you will get alternative to change payment type. You can keep it either prepaid or postpaid. By default it is prepaid. Here you can give a credit limit to reseller. By default it is zero. You can set maximum allowed call here. Sometimes for security reason admin set maximum allowed call. Let's assume you are setting 100 maximum allowed call. It means you will never receive more than 100 calls from this reseller. Maximum client limit. You can control maximum client limit of this reseller. If you will say 20 here, then this reseller will not be able to create more than 20 clients. These 20 clients will include originating client, reseller and PIN. Maximum allowed balance. If you want to control maximum allowed balance, then you can set a maximum balance limit here. Let's put an amount here so that this reseller cannot provide his client more than this balance. Role. Here role is default. If you want you can choose other option from here. Permission to create red plan. By default it is enable. If you want you can keep it disable. If you will select disable then clients cannot make new red plan. Reseller have to create client, pin or other thing by using your red plan. Status. Here either you can select active or you can select block. By default it is active. Enable child IVR. It means remaining minute IVR. By default it is enable. 
If you want, you can keep it visible. I wear language. By default, it is English. If you want, you can select other language from here. I wear currency. By default, it is USD. If you want, you can select other currency from here. Contact information. Here you can put the name of reseller, designation, company name, mobile number, email, etc. Billing contact. Here, if you want to put the same contacts, you have to select same as contact information option. Then, the contact will fill up automatically. Now click on submit button to create reseller by using advanced option. Now let me show you how to add originating client in ITEL Switch Plus. For that, you have to click on Add button under Manage Client. Here, you have to write any desired name considered as client ID. And then you have to provide password and confirm that password. Here, you have to select originating as client type. Balance is mandatory for originating client because call won't come without any balance. By default, balance is zero, but you can put any desired amount. In system, originating client can be authenticated by three ways, IP, caller ID, and prefix. Usually, IP is the most common way to authenticate the client. Now, you have to provide the IP of originating client. And let's assume port is 5060. Now click on add. Parent account. Parent account will be none. You have to select voice red plan. If you won't select voice red plan, then no call will come to you from the originating client. Mobile top up red plan. As usual, you have to select mobile top up red plan if you want to provide mobile top-up facility. But if you want, you can leave it none. If you will click on submit button, then originating client will be created. Now let's have a look in advance option. Just as before, you can assign voice red plan by using increased by option. Account information. Here in payment type, you can choose prepaid or postpaid as your convenience. Credit limit is zero by default. If you want, you can set maximum allowed calls. By default, it is minus one. Let's assume you don't want to pass more than 300 calls from here. Maximum client limit and maximum allowed balance will be minus one as default. Role will be default. If you want, you can assign another role from here. Status. Here, either you can select active or you can select block. By default, it is active. IVR language, same as before. By default, it is English. If you want, you can select another language from here. IVR currency, by default, it is USD. If you want, you can select other currency from here. Contact information. This is also same as before. Now you can click on submit button then originating client will be created now let me show you how to add a terminating client for that you have to go to manage client under client portion and click on add button you can put client name here now provide password and confirm that password. Client type will be terminating. Balance is not mandatory here. So by default it is zero. Add terminating client's IP. In this field you have to provide the IP. And let's assume the port is 5060. If terminating client will request you to send a call with specific prefix then you have to send the call by that prefix. Let's assume terminating prefix will be triple five. You can keep terminating rate none or you can assign a terminating rate plan because if you won't provide a rate plan then 
you cannot see a proper profit or loss report. Now, if you will click on submit button, then terminating client will be created. To create both type of client or you can say bilateral client, you have to click on add button under manage client option. You can put client name here. Now provide password and confirm that password. Client type will be both. Balance is mandatory for both type of clients because you will receive call from him. Let's assume you are providing 200 but by default balance will be zero. Both type clients can be authenticated by three ways IP, caller ID and prefix. Usually IP is the most common way to authenticate the client. Add clients IP. Now you have to provide the IP. And let's assume the port is 5060. Now click on add. Terminating prefix. If this client will request you to send a call with prefix, then you have to send the call by that prefix. Let's assume this client is not asking for any prefix. Parent account. As usual, parent account will be none. Voice red plan. You have to provide appropriate voice red plan because based on that, originating client will send call to you. Terminating red plan. You can keep terminating red plan none. Or you can assign a terminating red plan because if you won't provide a red plan, then you cannot see a proper profit or loss report. Mobile top up red plan. If you want, you can leave it none. If you will click on submit button, then both type of client will be created. Now let's have a look in advanced option. Just as before here, you can assign voice red plan by using increased by option account information here in payment type you can choose prepaid or postpaid as per your convenience here you can also assign credit limit maximum allowed calls roles etc now if you will click on submit button then both type of client will be created now let me show you how can you search, edit and recharge your client? To search client, you have to go to client portion and then click on search button under client management. Here you can see client search page where you can search by using different types of option. Client ID, here you can write name of four types of client. Gateway IP. You can also search by using Gateway IP. Client type. You can also search by client type. By default, client type will be all, but you can select anything from drop down list. Show deleted. By default, it is no, but you can also choose yes to see the deleted client also. Record per page. By default, it is 10, but you can use any other value. Let's assume you want to search all of your reseller. Then choose client type as reseller and click on search. Now you can see all of your reseller. If you want to edit any of your reseller, then you have to click on edit. Here you can see client edit page where you can change client ID, password, voice red plan and mobile top up red plan. You can also use advanced option to change additional parameter. Client recharge. To recharge your client, you have to go to client section, then select manage client and click on recharge. Here you can see client recharge page where you can search by client ID phone number and if you want you can also search by using client type. Now if you want to recharge a specific client then you have to put the client name in client ID. Now click on search. 
you can see your reseller and if you want to recharge then you have to put the amount in recharge field and if you want you can also provide additional balance in credit field in description field you can write anything regarding the reason of your recharge assume you are recharging 1000 now click on submit button to recharge In current balance, you can see total balance after recharge.